controversy over alleged police mishandling of the Milwaukee mass murder case grew even deeper today. It started with a frantic 911 call from a woman who'd seen Dahmer chasing an Asian boy down the street at 2 a.m. And this is young man. He is butt naked. He has been beaten up. He is very bruised up. Police and paramedics reportedly said the boy was okay, and officers carried him back to Dahmer's apartment. Pictures of dismembered bodies were on the apartment floor when police entered. Only 24 minutes after the initial 911 call, police officers radioed that they were finished. Intoxicated Asian naked male was returned to his sober boyfriend. Dahmer later told investigators he killed the boy as soon as the officers left. The police department individuals who responded failed to conduct a basic, proper police investigation into the matter. Protesters were calling today, take back the park day. Approximately 500 demonstrators gathered at People's Park this morning to protest the university building volleyball courts here. <laughs> Early this afternoon, the protest turned ugly. Demonstrators wanted to leave the park and march down to Telegraph Avenue, but they didn't get far. Police from throughout Alameda County lined up shoulder to shoulder, batons ready. They ordered the marchers back. When the marchers held their ground, police began driving them back. <laughs> We want to march peacefully, and they don't want us to march. And they're willing to beat us up, just like in the South in 65. The 11th annual Pan Am Games began today, but not without criticism and skepticism. Cuba invested heavily in time and prestige. But Cuba's disintegrating economy is reflected in many of the game's preparations. Leaking pipes, bare wires, hastily poured cement. Depending on what you think the real value of the Cuban peso is, Cuba spent anywhere from 39 to 156 million dollars on these games. Either way, it could be more than this island of rationing and shortages may be able to afford.